the offer of amnesty is predicated on the willingness and readiness of the militants to give up all illegal, illegal arms in their possession, completely renounce militancy willingly and unconditionally, and depose to an undertaking to this effect. It is my fervent hope <coughs> that all militants in the Niger Delta will take advantage of this amnesty and come out to join in the quest for the transformation of our dear nation. The offer of amnesty is open to all militants for a period of 60 days. Hello and welcome to this edition of Back in History. In this edition, we bring to you the story of the day President Omaru Musi Yeradua granted amnesty to militants in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria in his bid to end militancy and restore normalcy to the region. Yeradua was the first president in the history of Nigeria to take this initiative. Amnesty turned out to be the best way to address what was fast becoming an uncontrollable situation. Welcome. To this edition of Back in History. The Niger Delta region is the region that produces crude oil, which is the mainstay of Nigeria's economy. At some point in the history of Nigeria, youths of the Niger Delta region took to arms in protest for what they described as the marginalization of the oil producing communities of the region by the international oil companies in collaboration with the federal government of Nigeria. Oil companies were then prevented from drilling oil in some areas and in other areas, oil installations were blown up by the militants. Expatriate oil workers were kidnapped and held hostage on several locations. Oil rigs were threatened while others were invaded. Companies were frequently warned to leave the region or face dire consequences and there was serious sense of insecurity and restiveness in the Niger Delta region. The direct impact of this was the reduction in the oil production capacity of the country which invariably affected the economy of Nigeria. In previous administrations, government forces were deployed to fight the militants. Abacha, for instance, was ruthless with them. Several persons were arrested by his regime and detained. Olusogun Obasanjo was also unsparing during his administration. Soldiers were deployed to Odi in Bielsa State, and in no time, the community was leveled to ground zero in what is infamously referred to as the Odi Massacre. Heavy bombardments by Nigerian forces also took place in the region, or in the bid to rid the region of militant activities. But all this did not work. The more the militants were attacked, the more they regrouped, and the more they wreaked havoc on oil installations which grossly affected oil production and the economy of the nation. They appeared really determined to sustain the fight. The fire for fire approach of the federal government was obviously not working and a different strategy needed to be introduced. That different strategy was introduced by President Umaru Musa Yeradua through the grant of amnesty to the Niger Delta militant groups. Amnesty was a non-combative approach to the agitations of the militant groups and the militants were asked to surrender their weapons to the federal government in exchange for the promises that came with the amnesty. Here is the full text of the speech of President Omaru Musayiradwa on the day he granted amnesty to the militant groups. Unquote. Today, the 25th day of June 2009, the federal government of Nigeria, 
takes another decisive step in our avowed commitment to bringing enduring peace, security, stability, and development to our nation's Niger Delta. From inception, our administration has demonstrated unwavering commitment to evolving a holistic solution to the problems of the Niger Delta. Securing the region for growth and development while also effectively tackling the criminal dimension to the problem. We do recognize that the provision of the necessary infrastructure for the needed socio-economic development of the area is dependent on an endearing atmosphere of peace and security, constructive and frank engagement and with all stakeholders has defined our approach in the past two years. He went on to say, unquote, in line with the requisite priority which our seven-point agenda accords to this issue, and in furtherance of our determination to decisively deal with all the ramifications of the crisis, a presidential panel on amnesty and disarmament of the Niger Delta was set up on the fifth day of May 2009. With the federal government's acceptance of the recommendation of the presidential panel, setting out the terms, procedure, and processes for the grant of amnesty to the Niger Delta militants, the National Council of States was duly consulted today by me in conformity with Section 175 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The offer of amnesty is predicated on the willingness and readiness of the militants to give up all illegal arms in their possession, completely renounce militancy, willingly and unconditionally, and opposed to an undertaking to this effect. It is my fervent hope that all militants in the Niger Delta will take advantage of this amnesty and come out to join in the quest for the transformation of our dear nation. The offer of amnesty is open to all militants for a period of 60 days. Yanadwa stated further, unquote, fellow countrymen, our twin challenge of democratic consolidation and economic regeneration calls for unbridled patriotism and single-minded, people-focused, result-oriented, resolute and courageous leadership at all levels. We cannot afford to fail. Let us use today's proclamation of amnesty to herald a new beginning for our fatherland. As I append my signature to this proclamation, I pray that the Almighty God continues to bless our country, Nigeria. He went on to say, unquote, I now do proclaim as follows. Whereas the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria acknowledges that the challenges of the Niger Delta arose mainly from inadequacies of previous attempts, admitting the yearnings and aspirations of the people, and has set in motion machinery for the sustainable development of the Niger Delta states, whereas certain elements of the Niger Delta populace have resorted to unlawful means of agitation for the development of the region, including militancy thereby threatening the peace, security, order, and good governance, and jeopardizing the economy of the nation. Whereas the government realizes that many of the militants are able-bodied youths whose energies would be harnessed for the development of the Niger Delta and the nation at large. Whereas the government desires that all persons who have directly or indirectly participated in militancy in the Niger Delta to return to respect constitutional authority, and whereas many persons who had so engaged in militancy now desire to apply for and obtain amnesty and pardon, now therefore, I, Umaru Musa Yeradwa, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, after due consultation with the Council of State and in exercise of the powers conferred upon me, by the provisions of Section 175 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, 
make the following proclamation. I hereby grant amnesty and pardon to all persons who have directly or indirectly participated in the commission of offenses associated with militant activities in the Niger Delta. 2. The pardon shall take effect upon the surrender and handing over of all equipment, weapons, arms and ammunition, and execution of the renunciation of militancy forms specified in the schedule hereto by the affected person at the nearest collection center established for the purpose by government in each of the Niger Delta states. 3. The unconditional pardon granted portion to this proclamation shall extend to all persons presently being prosecuted for offenses associated with militant activities. 4. These proclamations shall cease to have effect from Sunday 1st October 2009. Made under my hand this 25th day of June 2009. End of quote. Yerada went on to name the person saddled with the immediate responsibility of implementation of the amnesty program, beginning with A Vice Marshal Loki Otuko and A Chief Marshal Paul Dike, the Chief of Defense Staff, as coordinators. He also appointed Dr. Timmy B. Agari as media coordinator. President Yaradwa's decision to grant amnesty to Niger Delta militants was the first of its kind in the modern history of Nigeria. Previous administrations such as the administration of Oluja Gunobasenjo and administration of General Sane Abacha, as noted earlier, employed heavy artillery and force in their bid to combat the militants, all of which did not yield the lasting peace that was needed in the region. Yadwa's approach was thus the biggest olive branch extended to the agitators of the Niger Delta region by the federal government of Nigeria. There were the initial doubts whether the amnesty would work. It was in fact difficult to see how easy it would be for the well-hardened and highly sophisticated militants of the Niger Delta region to willingly lay down their arms and change the direction and philosophy of their struggle. But to the surprise of many, including the international community, Yaradwa's amnesty was embraced by the militants. In few days, large quantity of sophisticated weapons were surrendered by the militants at the various collision centers. The weapons were large and scary, and it became clear to the nation and to the world that Nigeria was sitting on a keg of gunpowder. It was clear that the militancy was a well-organized enterprise. It was well-funded and the militants were prepared to fight to finish. Amnesty was thus the best bet for the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The repented militants were sent abroad for training in various aspects of the oil and gas industry such as underwater welding, pipeline maintenance and rehabilitation, and many others. Other militants were trained at home. They were also placed on monthly allowances. Other promises were made to them and to the entire region. Relative peace was thus restored to the region to a very large extent until date. No one has been able to regroup and reorganize youths into militants in the region in the way and manner and in the scale it was done before the grant of amnesty. President Umaru Musayiradwa thus remains in history, the president who granted amnesty to the restive youth of the oil-rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. By this singular action, relative peace was restored to the region and Yaradwa has been described by many as a man of peace who was deserving of an award of the Nobel Peace Prize. Thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe to this channel 
or follow the page for regular notifications on every new video.